Hello everyone, Tyler Vogel here with Bex Practical Farm Research down in Colfax, Iowa. And today I'm out here evaluating our corn replant threshold study. And the point of this study is to look for the economic optimum replant threshold. You know, what is that number? What's that stand have to be at where it makes sense to leave it rather than replant it? So as you can see, we have a lot of skips here. That was intentionally done. And so how we're doing that is we are plugging these holes on our cell plates uh, to mimic a practical real life sporadic stand situation. So we're testing four different rates, 28,000, 24,000, 20,000, and 16,000. And we're planting those with these plug plates. And then we're coming back three weeks later with normal, pla normal plates, excuse me, and we're planting at 34,000. And so at the end of the year, we try to find what that stand was and what it should have been, where it made sense and out yielded our replant situation three weeks later. We chose three weeks because by the time you plant, by the time your stand is emerged, by the time you evaluate it and decide, hey, I'm gonna leave it or hey, I'm gonna replant it, it's probably been about three weeks after that point. So what we found in years past is that anytime we can get 28,000, we're better off to leave that stand as is, but when we're dipping below, you know, 24,000 plants per acre, it makes more sense to restart even three weeks later. So we're just trying to get that optimum picket fence stand in corn. And we've also done the study in soybeans uh, using the same method by plugging the plates. And in soybeans, what we found is anytime you can get a stand around 75,000, that seems low, I know, but as long as it's somewhat uniform and you have uh, the ability to, to control your weeds, 75,000, 80,000, you're better off leaving them than uh, replanting at that point. So thanks for checking in and make sure to tune in for more studies throughout the year.